Can't do it. The segment most likely to get someone suspended, fired, or at least spending the night on the couch. I will tell you a deeply personal story okay. because I have a tendency to overshare. I raised you. Nastiest <laughs> you've ever done. I'm talking about nasty. Uh, wow. Mary Screw killed Donald Trump, Matt Spiegel, or Jimmy Butler. I can answer that. It's stupid. Which category do you click on that would horrify your life? What's the question? I feel like this is like a setup. I have to answer your question. You can't do it. I don't know. I don't know. You shouldn't do That's it. It's a very negative question. I have a question. Yes. In these conjugal visits, you can have sex with women? I don't know I really want to answer that. You want your question? I'm your huckleberry. I'll answer the question. This is bad radio and it's not appropriate. Why do we never get? Can't do it. 312 644 6767. You ask the questions, we answer, or if we don't, you get a prize. The prize is a Sport Clips haircut. There we go. And a score gift pack. A nice. score prize pack comes to you. The segment is brought to you by the private bank, now CIBC. The private bank is now CIBC. Their name may have changed, but their commitment to your business is now stronger than ever. Visit CIBC.com slash us, member FDIC. You can watch us at watch 670 com to see Spiegel's face turn the color of his shirt. That sometimes <laughs> happens during this segment. And uh, if we've been asked a question and answered it before, we can say asked and answered. If it's proprietary, we don't have to answer it. But other than that, Let's play the game. Game on. Rico in Arlington Heights, who's your question for? Rico! Yes, it's for you, Mr. Parkins. Um, appreciate you last week having the female co-host, but I've got to ask, uh, why didn't you? And the next time Mr. Matthew goes on his cover tour, will you have Julie as a host? Uh, that That is two questions. It is one question. I will answer the first one. Why didn't you? What, why Why was uh, Layla the host instead of Julie? Very simple. It, that's not a binary choice. It wasn't like I need to host with a female. Uh, I'm willing to host with anybody who Mitch Rosen assigns to host with me, which is the absolute truth. About four months ago, uh, because I know a couple people who work in Houston, I had been told when I got this job, which was back in January, it's like, oh, this girl, Layla Rahimi, worked at Comcast in Houston. She works in Chicago. She's pretty good. I've been filling in on the panel over on Comcast. Her show is on after Sports Talk Live. So I see her work, and I'm there in the studio. And I think she's really good. So I told Mitch about her, like, probably four months ago, and was like, we should figure out if we can get her involved. She's funny. She's smart. She covered MLB at MLB Network, Mm -hmm. all that sort of thing. Knowledgeable. And knowledgeable. And so they had coffee. Um, a couple of weeks back. Oh wow! Yeah, and uh, so you you enabled a Layla and Mitch coffee. And they, they had coffee, and then Mitch asked me if I would host with Layla when great. you were off because normally I do it solo. Well, look, I hope you two were very happy together. We were great. It, it was it was Not genuinely really. enjoyable. Good. So uh, I probably will host with Layla again. Would be would be my guess. Uh, John in Bloomington, you're on the score. What's up, John? Yeah, hey, my question's for you, Danny. Okay. What? Uh, Syracuse players have you smoked pot with? <laughs> uh, that is the way the game is supposed to be played. Yeah, because it, it came up earlier. Yeah. Uh, you gave away some information. Yeah. You said a shooting guard. I have no interest in doing that. The player, it, listen, it's not a big deal. Uh, college athletes smoke pot, breaking news. Basketball players smoke pot, breaking news. The country smokes pot, breaking news. But I have no interest in actually saying his name on a 50,000 watt blowtorch. So. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Well done on your question. You heard me bite my tongue, and so you called me on it, and now you get a prize for your uh, my troubles. Good job by you. Uh, Jamie, you're on Can't Do It. Who's your question for? My question is for you, Danny. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. We're on, we're on a roll. I, I love <laughs> Can't Do It. I love it. Always has. <laughs> Last week while hosting with Layla Rahimi, you seemed awful happy and chatty and kind of flirty. So my question is, at any time, have you fantasized about Layla while working a solo? No. no, no. While working a solo? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, oh, well, good, well worded. I can give you the <laughs> honest answer to that. That is no. And I think that people hear a guy and a girl hosting together and they assume that you sound flirty, which is, of course, ridiculous. Also, um, it, most of our, our male listeners, I think, are just any female voice at all. It's just like, oh, my God. Sure. 
I bet she's incredible. <laughs> and sometimes they are. Well, there's not there's not enough uh, there's there's not enough women in the industry, frankly. So, no, but to honest answer to an honest question, the answer is no. Mm. Uh, let's go to Kyle. Kyle, you're on. Can't do it. Who's your question for? Hey guys, how's it going? This is for uh, Speegs. Yes, and Kyle. the question is. Do you think Dan Bernstein is mean slash belittling to his callers? <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. Right. Abso- I knew that was an easy one. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's 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 absurdly easy. It's uh, I, I, that's that's what he's done for a long, long time. And we've talked about it. I've told him. I feel like sometimes sometimes he punches a button looking for the fight before the person has represented what they are or what they might say at all. But that's you know, everybody's got their style. Brian, you are on Can't Do It. 312-644-6767 if you want to get your questions in. Question for Danny. Okay, yes. go ahead, Brian. What's the most you've lost on a bet that you have not told your wife in any part of your relationship? It does not exist. She knows that I gamble. She knows that I've lost uh, 2,000 the most in a poker session. Uh, I, I've answered this question before, but I'm not embarrassed of it. I'll say it again. 2,000 a poker session is, yeah. Yeah, and I've been able. How about, and, how about a single sports bet? Well, 500 uh, on a single sports bet, I think, is probably the – but, like, I've told the story before that I could have won 15 grand on Game 7 of the 2014 World Series if mm. the Royals would have won that game. But you didn't want to hedge and against I did, you. And I didn't hedge against myself, so I maybe could have hedged, like, six grand off. So if you want to count that as, like, expected wins there, you could say six grand, but – in terms of what I put up, I don't think I've ever bet more than five hundred on a single. I don't game. think I've ever lost two thousand at a poker session. I think I twelve hundred is is my top. Yeah, doesn't feel good. No, I Not used to good. play a lot. Of, That's shame. Lot. I used to play a lot of cards. <laughs> it can it can swing fairly quickly. Uh, let's see here, Andrew in Peoria. But now, by but I've told that story enough. Now, ask and answered going forward. Mm-hmm. Uh, Andrew in Peoria, you are on can do it. Who's your question for? Uh, Matt Spiegel. Okay, yes, go ahead. Andrew. I had kind of a softball. I was at a funeral recently, and there was some horrible music choices. I wanted to ask a well-respected musician uh, if he could have one song played at his funeral. What would it be? If, oh, whoa. <laughs> what, one song played at Spiegel's but, funeral? At my own funeral? Yes. Wow, that's interesting, because I, uh, I, won't, I won't be there. I mean, I'll be there, but I won't be here. As well. <laughs> hmm. You know, I, I keep coming back to uh, The Only Living Boy in New York by Simon and Garfunkel. I don't know if you know that song, but it's yeah. just, it's probably, for, it, it, I think it's probably my answer to my favorite song. It gives me all of the feelings, every single one of the feelings. So I'll go with that one. All right. Yeah. Ask the answer. Softball thrown, softball batted into the air. William in Rockford, who's your question for? My question is for Spiegel. Yes, sir. While you were working with Mel Allen as an intern, <laughs> yeah. how many times did you feel like either screwing up his order on his food or spitting in his food? And, and why? Why would I do that to the iconic Mel Allen on This Week in Baseball? Why would I do that? <laughs> Is it? No, never. He, Mel was old. But Mel could still tell some great stories. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a challenge because Mel would chew his food really loudly and awkwardly near the microphone um, very often while he was recording. But no, no, I never spat in the food of Mel Allen. It's ridiculous. How would the ulterior uh, motive, like a personality <laughs> that, that is Matt Spiegel, a- answer that question? Just out of, out, of, out of curiosity. You mean how would Gay Murph answer that question? <laughs> Just curious. So Murph. Uh, babe, I would never do such a thing. I would never, <laughs> ever spit in <laughs> someone's food. I may clear my throat into someone's food now and again, but I would never spit in it. Okay. Uh, noted. That's terrible. Really? Really? <laughs> Okay. Let's go to Tony. Tony, who's your question for? Uh, it's for Parkins. And first of all, can you tell Goff that he compared me to you uh, earlier in the week because I grew up in the North Shore too? But I have shoulders in that's all. Okay. Anyway, but uh, he compared just, you to me because we're both from the North Shore. No, no, this was a desire to, to crap on you for not having shoulders. I see Danny's shoulders right here. Okay, okay. okay. Anyway, the rough and tumble right streets here. of Evanston. Mitch. Send you to the remote part of China to scout a 110 mile an hour fireball or pitcher, and you are approached by a voluptuous, beautiful, big-breasted Asian woman for a one-night stand. Being married now, 
do you take advantage? No. The, the distance does not affect that. I understand the question, right? Like, it's not cheating. It's in a different zip code and all of that. But, but, but no. I would not have gotten married if I want to cheat. Is the desire out there because of, like, looking and all of that stuff? Of course. But, like, would you actually go through with it? No. I would not have gotten married if I had plans to cheat on my wife. No matter how secret the opportunity yeah, could that's, be. Yeah, that's... that's that's the honest question, like, or that's the uh, that's the honest answer to it. Like, that is a well, that it was an honest question. But also, you can take it for what it's worth. But like, no, the the opportunity, yeah, I do not think. I'm going to choose not to read into the stammering because you are a rare, a fair rare enough, fumbler. No, 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 fair enough. You're 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 right. But it's oh no, it's heavy stuff. Like, it's like, a, it's like a people weird, don't... it's a weird allegation though because like, of course, you know, no. Yeah. We all have had the opportunity, you know what I mean? Of to, course. And you would either and, 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 you choose not to get married. Right. right. And, I think. And, I don't and, know. And, and, and theoretically, you will um, have those opportunities. And there's a. I was just, been to Vegas. You uh, can pay for stuff anywhere you want just to. Just having like, a people, conversation with somebody like that's a tough about thing to that. Do. Like, to not admit that you get attracted to other people is also not healthy. So, right, of right? course. So he, uh, he's like, you, oh, you open the door, right? Yeah. But then you close the door. So admit that the door opens in your mind. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And your partner should be able to understand that. Admit that the door opens and then just let her know that you also close the door. Yeah, well, no, I think the stammering was from the scouting and going abroad and all this. Because it's like you don't need to do that if you want it to have a, you know, no strings attached opportunity. It's like just it's not that hard to do if you're willing to pay for it or whatever like the case may be. It's just a I don't get those types of questions, but whatever.